All right, time to install our band. It's been a while since we used Curdy board. All of these seams and penetrations need to be waterproof, so there's our band. Time to install. Here we go. Quick and easy way to stick your trim to your wall and plumb it out is with a hot glue gun. Okay, we are rounding third base on this budget, big box store bathroom remodel. Shower will be completed today. Drywall will be ready to go. Sand and texture spray. Let's show you the progress and talk about uh, what we have to do to finalize this in the next two to uh, three days. So here's the shower. Finish the tile here. We will finish this right side wall and finish the niche today. The floor tile is complete. It is a mess in here, don't worry. Everything is protected and covered. Our drywall mud is complete. We need to sand it, bring out the hopper, and spray our orange peel texture. So today, finalize the tile, finalize the drywall, pull all of this, prep the floor for grout. And then tomorrow's going to be real simple. We're going to grout the entire bathroom. The floor, the shower, we are going to paint the bathroom as well and uh, pretty much get everything ready for the final day, which will be vanity, towel bars, toilet, baseboard, etc. So here it is, let's get to work. And soon we will show you what the end result looks like. Here we go. installing a backsplash and side splash because this wall is out of plumb so we want to cover that gap up. We have a Carrera stone backsplash that we're cutting up now.
There you have it, quick and easy to set up and to break down dry cut tile saws. Okay, our big box store budget bathroom is complete. Let's show you the final result. It looks uh, like a fantastic bathroom, but this is definitely a bathroom with somebody who is uh, on a budget. We will give you the uh, cost of all of the materials, uh, but it looks fantastic. This is a beautiful bathroom, beautiful shower, and it is ready for uh, a baby on the way for our clients. They wanted a nice clean space to bathe their new uh, child that's coming into the world. So let's take a look. We will start with the floor. We have a 12 by 24 porcelain tile at a 50% offset. The cost of this tile, $50 for this space. Move on to the vanity by Glacier Bay. Drawers, doors, one piece Corian top. This vanity was $400. All in one vanity kit. Of course, the top sink and cabinet. 60 bucks for a brushed nickel faucet. $50 for this backsplash. $99 for this toilet. 20 bucks for a towel bar, toilet paper dispenser, and ring. We have a vent fan over here, $189. A lot of options with the vent fan. You have your fan, your light, night light, as well as Bluetooth. Very cool feature, runs about 200 bucks for this fan. Let's look at the shower. The shower turned out clean, modern, very easy to clean and maintain. This style of ceramic, high gloss ceramic, $200 tub, $150 valve and trim kit, $50 handheld. I really like the handheld suction cup here. And the cost of the tile for this shower ran $300 total. So let's quickly talk about this shower. We have an eight by 16 ceramic high gloss tile. Folds at the tub, folds at the bottom of the niche. We have our tub installed, color matched silicone all around it. 12 by 20 niche, we trim this shower out with a chrome jolly trim by Schluter. Nice, tight, clean miters at all four corners. We have a fun blue subway ceramic mosaic decorative. We also ran our silicone on where the planes meet. Very clean looking shower. Again, easy to clean and maintain something like this. It will look new and fresh for a very long time. So that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed this uh, series of our big box budget bathroom build. Our client is very happy and they cannot wait to test out this new shower. As usual, don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell notification and smash that like button if you liked this video. Thanks for watching guys.